conference that will take place next month. Now, while the official nomination process is still to get underway, names are being touted as possible presidential candidates. Among them, Tandukolo Sabelo, who is in KwaZulu-Natal. He's the KwaZulu-Natal Youth League Secretary. He joins us now live from our Durban studios. Tandukolo, very good morning to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Reportedly, there is seemingly some votes of confidence in you as a National Youth League President. Are you up for the challenge? Uh, good morning, Blaine, and good morning to the viewers at home. Well, uh, yes, I have received a few of uh, nominations and messages of support from across the country, in particular lately in the Northern Cape, uh, from Namakwa region and JTG region. So uh, there are many comrades who have approached me about standing to be the president of the ANC Youth League, and I've obviously agreed with them, and I said, if uh, indeed they wish to nominate me, I will be uh, availing myself for the position of president, but uh, more importantly, I will be ready for the task at hand, because it is not a small task, it's going to be quite a difficult and a huge task to be the president of the Youth League in ensuring the unity of the youth of our country, mm. and in also ensuring that uh, we move forward as a youth. Uh, we want to ensure that uh, the issue of youth development is brought in the main table uh, in our government and in the private sector. So as the young people of this country, we must face one direction indeed and be united in ensuring that uh, we bring these matters forward. We want young yeah. people of our country uh, to get jobs. We know that they are the most affected. Youth unemployment is a crisis and a ticking time bomb. So the ANC Youth League needs to raise these matters and start uh, fighting them on the ground, working with uh, all young people of this country, yeah. putting them behind one vision, facing one direction and ensuring that uh, we fight youth unemployment. But we also need as, a young, as the youth of this country to ensure that uh, young people uh, enter into the mainstream economy of our, of, of our country well, uh, Kolo, by I, ensuring I just want that youth-owned businesses. I just want to touch on that. You know, youth unemployment is a huge issue. The unemployment rate is, is sitting at, what, around 27.2%. The unemployment rate among youth, people aged between what, 15 to 34, was sitting at around 38.2%. I mean, some youth in South Africa have been hunting for a job for so long that they're no longer young anymore, you know? I mean, what is your organization going to do to turn things around? Definitely, uh, as I've said earlier on, it is a crisis in the Republic of South Africa, and it's a ticking time bomb. That is why the ANC Youth League needs to engage both business uh, and the government to ensure that uh, this matter of youth unemployment is prioritized. You will know that we have been running campaigns, campaigns such as uh, set-asides for young people. We normally call it 40% set-aside, both in ensuring that there must uh, be jobs set aside for young people. But more importantly, uh, we know that uh, the government does employ uh, people of this country, but it can't be the major employer in a country. In any developing country or any developing state, the government needs to create an enabling environment for business to thrive so that uh, employment can be created. So that is what's going to be our major focus. We're going to engage business and we're going to engage government to make sure that that environment is created so that there's sustainable development, so that young people can be able to be their own employers, but also create employment for their peers in, 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 in the country. So that is why we want set-asides in government where government will set aside certain funds and ensure that young people come up with good ideas um, for business and those business ideas are funded and employment can be created for themselves and for their peers. So I I indeed uh, we, are, we, are, we are fighting it as, as, as the youth league, especially here in Guazul Natal, but also we want to, to, to call upon the government to institutionalize youth development. We know that the government is also working very hard. There is the NYTA, which is also working very hard. But we are calling upon each and every department in the country uh, to ensure that there are set-asides for young people and that there are offices created, such as youth directorates in all the departments, yeah. all the municipalities, provincial government, national government, local municipality, uh, district municipalities. There must be youth offices uh, to ensure that issues affecting young people uh, are addressed immediately. Well, let's talk uh, about one of those issues so that are affecting... So I'm very hard as... 
Yeah, sorry, uh, Tando Tkolo, to cut you off, but let's, let's talk about one of those issues uh, that are affecting young people, the National Student Financial Aid Scheme, complaints uh, from students around non-payment of allowances. What's your take? No, as the NC Youth League, we've always been clear. Uh, for the longest of time, there has been a crisis in the NSFAS, or the National Student Financial Aid Scheme. Uh, the manner in which it has been uh, organized has created a lot of crises. Latest was the new system of trying to centralize the system, which also made it worse uh, in terms of uh, trying to, to change uh, the systems of government. But we, we, the corruption also in, in the student financial aid scheme is also another big challenge facing uh, uh, the scheme. So it, it is indeed a huge worry to our... Our, our youth in the country and especially the students in all institutions of higher learning. And that is why this matter needs to be prioritized because it will be a huge crisis for the Republic of South Africa if it really goes out of hand. Uh, and the, the President of the Republic needs to specifically put a, a specific attention to NSFAS because uh, we are speaking about the future of our country which should be the most important thing in, 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 in the Republic of South yeah. Africa. The resignation of uh, the former CEO, Mr. Nassan, is long overdue. We have been calling for it for, for as long as time within our, our, our PYA component together with the, students South with the South African Students Congress. So, so we, we, we welcome it and that we call upon the president to ensure a quick replacement of the, 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 the former CEO and stability mm. in that institution. And uh, the, the probing of that institution to find out what uh, corruption has been happening within that institution. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for me, I'm still not convinced how this one student uh, received 14 million rand. I'm not convinced that it was, it was, it was a mistake mm. uh, as we speak. So if such mistakes could happen to one student, how many other mistakes are there within the system? So heads must roll and there must be stability put at hand. There is free education in the Republic and NSFAS should be facilitating that. Yeah. And therefore that institution cannot be in crisis. As young people, we call upon the immediate, um, uh, the mid immediate overhaul of, 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 of the scheme and the stabilization of, 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 of uh, uh, that scheme. Tender that Polo, is let's... one of our pride uh, as the youth of this country. Tender Tolo, let's talk about your yes, organization please. and the health yes. in particular of the youth wing. We've heard talk of liquidation. What's the state of the National Youth League? Well, I'm not empowered to speak uh, on behalf of the National Executive Committee of the ANC Youth League. But as structures of the ANC Youth League, we have been briefed by the Secretary General that the matter of liquidation is being handled by uh, the national office of the ANC Youth League and that we should all be calm. There shouldn't be a need for panic uh, in the country as the matter is being handled and the matter is going to be before a court of law very soon. So we, 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 we believe that the Youth League will not be liquidated uh, and that the ANC Youth League will uh, obviously go to its national conference and, and, and face all its challenges and come up with a clear program of action Yep. that will revive the ANC Youth League and bring back its former glory of being a, a youth wing of the ANC, which uh, brings about new ideas, fresh and new ideas for the ANC, but of also being a youth wing that is producing leaders for the African National Congress, but also being a, a youth wing of the ANC that is leading in terms of debates in society, in terms of... Uh, Information in society is need to be a youth that is more advanced, yeah. that is being able to galvanize and lead all the youth of South Africa despite political affiliation. I mean, as the ANC Youth League, we are strategically located yeah. in the ANC, which is the ruling party of the Republic of South Africa. So we don't only represent our members. We represent all the young people, whether they're in the DA, they're in the EFF, yeah. they're in um, uh, the IFP, we, we, we represent even the young people who might not necessarily be uh, in, in interested in politics. Yeah. We need to drive the agenda of the youth. So that is what we seek to bring back, uh, a youth league that all young people of this country will feel it's their home and they will support. A youth league, obviously, that will yeah. have a clean leadership that does not have uh, its own interest at heart. 
but has the interest of young people at heart. So, so we're going to our National Congress of the ANC Youth League as Guazulu Natal, yeah. hoping to revive the Youth League in that direction. There is so much I want to touch on with you, Tandakolo, but unfortunately we've run out of time. We'll try to maybe get you back in uh, the days and months to come uh, to explore these other issues. Tandakolo Sabelo is the uh, Kwasi Youth League Secretary. Let's get some sporting news now with Valen.